Right, if you get some crazy weight readings on your indicator from time to time, the first thing you want to do is check signal. We want to make sure that what we're actually getting back to the display is actually a change in millivolts. But how do we check millivolts? Well, we got our cell right there. And we have it plugged up into our indicator and a scale input. And we're going to grab our voltmeter. You want to make sure that your selector is going to be in DC millivolts on mine that's labeled as 200M and DC, mil, DC voltage is going to be a straight line symbol. Right, we're going to power it on. I got a nice little label showing millivolts. Then we got to see where our signal lines are. So coming into our connector, you can see SI plus and minus. That's our signal plus and minus, this red and this white wire here. And you want your positive lead to go on the positive pin for, for signal. And we're going to rest the millivolt. 0.4. I'm going to take a pen pound weight, place it on this cell, and you can see that the millivolts have changed. Uh, if you're getting a negative drive, it means that your leads are reversed. You always want your red lead on the positive wire. Now you can see we're getting a millivolt 0.3 and resting in the mount is 0.4. Now if, we're, if you're getting something that's outside the range of the cell, and by that I mean if you have a 3 millivolt per volt cell, this indicator of mine will only drive that cell at its max capacity up to 30 millivolts. If you have over that, and you're showing overload on your scale, then you've just confirmed it, that that cell is overloaded in back. 